and Supreme Ruler Ultimate as well as all of the Supreme Ruler games you can supply ground units for example here I've got an M113A3 armored personnel carrier let's assume it is sitting here out of supply I have options I can use a supply truck if you notice the supply truck must have cargo in it notice it says it has 500 tons of cargo that cargo will supply this unit I would simply send it to it now if I did not want to use this truck let's say it was a very long distance and I didn't want to wait I could use an, any plane that has a cargo capacity and the range this plane has a 1048 ton cargo capacity so I would simply send it there and it would resupply that unit it would continue rotating until it ran out of supply or fuel now there is another way you could highlight the aircraft you could click escort and then click on that unit right click this unit and select it to escort and everywhere that unit goes that plane will follow it I'm gonna speed up here just to make it more apparent maybe that's too fast we'll go to fast and then the ground unit wherever it goes the aircraft will follow it keep supplying it with fuel and ammo now there is also another option I can do the exact same thing with a helicopter that has cargo capacity so I could either escort just like I did with the plane the helicopter will go down there and follow or I could simply choose the helicopter and right click that location and the helicopter would go to the same location so again you can use uh, supply trucks aircraft or helicopters for boats that are away from land and hard to reach you have a couple of options one you can take a supply ship any ship that has a cargo capacity in this example I have an LPD you can simply send it out to the same area and it will resupply the ship that does not have supply you can also use a helicopter as long as it has the range helicopter will go there and it will sit there and supply the ship until it runs out and then it'll come back just like you saw and of course you can you cannot use an aircraft a fixed wing aircraft a troop transport you can only use a helicopter to resupply ships for attacking islands island nations or individual islands that do not have a port I, I'm going to use Bahamas as an example you see here Marsh Harbor does not have a sea pier or a port so you ask how can you get troops there you have two options one is to use troops such as these Marines when you look at their tech readout you see that they can be air droppable they're they can use parachutes notice I've got a C5 Galaxy here in the same air base so I take the Marines click on the ground units and then load into and then right click on the air base where the transport is in this case the C5 Galaxy right click and load I get to choose if I had more than one airplane there I could choose which one there's only one so I'm choosing the one there and those Marines will load into that aircraft and then I'm going to declare war just so that I can do this. <clears throat> then you take the aircraft, uh, unload, select unload, and right click where you want them to unload. And the Marines will parachute down into where you want them to load. Again, that's take the aircraft, click on unload, and right click where you want them to unload. Now, if you do not want to use that method, there is another method that you could use now we're looking at ground units now in this case I'm using the M113 a3 you'll notice it must have the amphibious assault icon okay this is what allows it to land without a sea pier or a sea port so what you do is you load it into any vessel that has cargo capacity 
and has amphibious assault. Notice here this says can unload away from docks. That means this vessel, which has 12,000 tons of cargo capacity, can be loaded up with amphibious units and go attack, do a, a sea invasion and assault without a dock. So let's load this bad boy. Click load into, right click into the ship we want it to load to. And now we've got one unit loaded into this ship. We're going to go invade right here. Again, I'm going to declare war so that I can do this just for the purpose of this tutorial. Now, I the ship I select, and once you have it selected, select unload, and then right click where you want it to unload, and it just unloads even though there is no dock or sea pier. Again, only amphibious units and amphibious ships can do that okay for the purposes of island invasions a long way away from land let's say for example you wanted to uh, attack this island okay and it was too far away from land to use airplanes well that's that's fine uh, what you would do what I do and what I suggest you do is use an aircraft carrier. You can see here we have a CVN-68 Nimitz class aircraft carrier and it can hold four air wings. So I then selected some FA-18D Hornets. You want to select any aircraft that can fly or land on long deck carriers. Okay, Long deck carriers which is what your full aircraft carriers are. Now I'm going to want an amphibious capability uh, for regular land units. So I'm going to use the M113A3 again. I'm using the LHD-1 WASP, which is amphibious, has amphibious capabilities. I'm going to select a load into and right click on the WASP. And then a pop-up will tell me which unit I want. There's only one there, so I will choose it. And these M113s will load into the WASP. Okay. Now I'm going to take the WASP and move it just over here. Now, when I first get to an island, I may not want to run that ship right up to the island because there may be defenses there. So what I'm going to do, as you notice here, I've got a Sea Stallion helicopter. Okay, It can fly and land on any carrier. That means long deck or short deck. I'm going to take these Marines. I'm going to load into the Sea Stallion. Okay, then I'm going to take the C stallion and place it on the LHD. Now, I will put both of these in a fleet. I will select just the ships. And I will move the ships out here far enough away from the island that I'm going to attack that if there's any submarines or other ships here, they will not attack these. Now bear in mind that generally speaking, I'm going to have destroyers and battleships escorts with these. Okay, So what I'm going to do now is take the Sea Stallion. Well first, let's declare war on Bahamas. Okay. Now I do not want to send my ships close because again, there may be submarines or other ships here. The Sea Stallion is carrying two marines. I want him to unload the Marines. Okay, so he flies in, drops off the Marines, and they capture the harbor. Okay, now I can move in the rest of my forces with the aircraft. I'm going to slow this down so you can actually see what's going on. Notice I've got my aircraft here, and I want them to patrol. So they're going to patrol. Because you see these enemy ships over here? Now, when these get close, I can take the LHD and I can unload. And I just ask him to unload right there. Now, you see we've captured it with Marines, and now we've got land forces that we can use to move elsewhere. Once you've captured the island, if there are no ports and there are no airfields, you can just right-click on it and select Build Military, and you can build an airbase, or you can build... A uh, 
seaport or a sea pier. It's up to you. And then you'll be able to station troops here.